century we've witnessed the transition from production economy to knowledge economy and now we're totally enveloped with technology what are the key assets of the modern day sme in your estimation and how should we seek to nurture these assets to maximize potential the ability to create intimacy is i believe the key asset because you can't you can't devolve that to a machine. Mm -hmm. You know, I've and been involved. I've been involved in the in, in the small business sector and small to medium, and there are sort of clear definitions of what that is. But let's just say it's businesses between one million and a hundred million in revenue. That would that sort of covers the 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 bulk the span, of it, yeah. the span of the spectrum of things that are potentially SMEs and up to let's say 250 300 employees the americans have a slightly different categorization than the europeans and the brits and but it's sort of all it's that end of the market mm -hmm. um, i did accounts for something like 96% of all business formations fall into that right category that category yeah um plus the freelancers and the independents and so on um and they account for about 40 percent of gdp roughly and the big ones the enterprises they account for about 45 percent of gdp maybe 47 that's growing mm -hmm. um so it accounts for an awful lot of employment it, it accounts for an awful lot of of individual individual lives and it accounts for a big chunk of of the national product sure so the one thing that every sme can do by choice is to create intimacy and in order to because it is acting at human scale they're all human scale businesses now there is human scale is everybody has the opportunity to know everybody else in the business and and remember their names you know, roughly There's, you're not talking about amorphous departments and and subsidiaries and with people who you, you'll never meet in your life so human scale enterprises have that one enormous advantage of being able to create intimacy and you can only do that if at the same time you are creating all the conditions that um that make intimacy possible so there has to be a, a level of security mm -hmm. there has to be a level of 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 safety there has to be a level of purposefulness and trust you have to know yeah and and trust and you have to be doing a job that is that is strategically important for your customers. In other words, you have to know what your customers are. So there are, there are a range of business skills, positioning, focusing, strategic direction, financial fluency, and so on, plus the willingness and, and wish of the leaders to actually create an intimate environment. Mm -hmm.